want very soon here. Yeah, so we have Game With once again in the blue with Amaratsu and Fav Gaming in the red. Yeah, Materatsu shows his first card being the Ice Spirit. Ice Spirit, Ice Golem. These usual staple cards in some of the more heavy, chippy kind of decks. Dropping the, the Miner there, that's uh -huh. a bit weird, I guess? It does push the Golem a little bit faster, but other than that, okay, it does counter out the Golem that's coming out the other end, so Miner win there, but definitely the main purpose of uh, the Miner being ignored on that occasion. But it still gets there, and oh uh -huh. my god, that Tornado should have grabbed that Miner yeah. into the King's Tower, just didn't. That would have put Rad at such an advantage. Having that third tower activated this early in the game, it's so strong. But we see the three Musketeers just being rivaled out by multiple situations here. Executioner. Such a big push there. We have one Musketeer oh, and a Mini, mini Pekka. Pekka. Mini Pekka is going to make Pekka. it. Mini Pekka, one hit, second hit, and that's going to get the first tower out with the Musketeer ready to destroy that down in an instant. And what a play. Obviously, the, the wave coming in from the two Musketeers on the left have been solved out, but the third one with the surprising Mini Pekka that we have not seen for a very long time comes as a hero here. Yeah, it was such an understated move. Like, you put so much pressure on the left lane, a little bit of pressure on the right lane with that one Musketeer, and then suddenly you try to defend the two Musketeers. There's a Mini Pekka there. Takes out the tower almost instantly. No chip damage needed this time. I can guarantee you, Rat did not expect a mini Pekka summon on that occasion. Moves so quickly. Yeah. And just once it gets reached to the tower, then bam, that one hit does so much damage to the tower. And Musketeer is no joke as well. Yeah, Amaratsu seems to really like using the miners as a defensive tool. He's put it at the back a few times. That time he put it behind the Executioner. Uh, there comes a graveyard for Rad. Uh, will it deal much damage? There's, oh, pulling all three, uh -huh. three musketeers onto the other lane. But this graveyard is pulling them back over. Will they split? They do. Okay, so initial split. The three musketeers very, very obedient to the master's commands. There, still opting for the two to one split. Mini Pekka returns again. Can he get more out of this? The tombstone. The tombstone. Going to be the one to defend out this one. Three musketeers again, and another graveyard here. This time the Musketeers are not turning around. Uh -huh. And there is a Tornado. But that one is so dedicated to the cause. She is defending like her life depends on it. She just walks from the opposite side of the map. Look at the Royal Soldiers coming in for the side of Amaterasu. And then very clean victory. That one occasion with that one Musketeer. The th one of the three sisters joining inside. Joining forces with the Mini Pekka. And that bam after bam. I'm going to focus on, obviously, Rad is not going to fall for that mini Pekka trick once again. He's seen it once. Hog Rider, though. Give me your best Hog Rider impression. Come on. On live broadcast side. I'll do it. Here. I'll do it. Hog Rider! That was actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't know if I can beat that <laughs> one. I, I, can beat, I can beat you in many things, Simon, but that's the one thing I cannot beat you on. Hog Rider impression right there. Simon the professional. <laughs> we have the Golem coming out for Rad again. Did he play, he play Golem last time, right? No, no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Yeah, it wasn't about the golems in this last 1v1. It has been about the surprising. Uh, really, the trainer's coming through once again for this 1v1. Yeah, there's the Executioner. And the Tornado Executioner is such a good, good combination. They, they deal so much damage so quickly. So even with the recent nerf to the Tornado, they still feel like it's a viable pick. Move forward here, Dark Prince being distracted by the Hawk Rider. Yeah, the Mini Pekka on the defense, uh -huh. but Mega Minion and Dark Prince both Look reach the tower. That's a Hawk Dark Rider. Prince. Dark Prince just going one hit, one hit, one hit, and another hit to finish it off. And that's going to be the first tower going down. And what a disaster of events. The Hawk Rider not even doing his duty, just being pulled away by the Tornado, even waking up the Kingstar. Now it's a Huge advantage for Rat to push forward. Yeah, Rat doesn't even need to push forward at this point. He can sit back and defend. Any kind of minor play is completely countered by that King Tower being activated. Even if he doesn't have it, any push is going to find it 
twice as hard to take down a tower because that King's Tower can deal so much extra damage. And you talk about Defensor not needing to push forward. You see the last reveal of his card was a rocket to knock down the ex Executioner from range. The Lightning will come through. That just means Hogwarts will get a few more shots as it doesn't eliminate the Baby Dragon right away. He's got some of the Golem, so pushing forward is still a strat and inputting a lot more pressure so that when he even even wants to go for attack, he has to think about the defensive strats first. Yeah, Golem is defending from the front. That's its job. It It is now forcing Amaratsu oh. to put things on the left. Perfect bomb, but doesn't deal that much. Uh -huh. The tower's uh -huh. gonna go the down. The will go down, and that will be the second tower going down in this game. We thought the bomb and the rocket would take care of it with the tornado pulling everything in. But really? the, the rocket never came, right? Never no, came. the rocket did come. Rocket did come, but it only knocked down the shields. That's the problem because the Hog Rider was still uh, had a few HP left, but the Princess Tower was targeting the, the rest the, of the guards the elites, there. Yeah. Oh my God! Such a good turn of events from Maratu. Wow. He looked like he was down and out, but he's kind of turned it around. You. Red uses that rocket there on the Executioner, but there's still so much here to defend for Amaratsu. Okay, the Mini is gonna go down on his duty, just putting them in. Oh, that tower only has 854. Oh, left. stopped right there from the Mega Minion right there, so the Golem is gonna do a little more damage before it goes back home. Mega Amaratsu, Minion. perfect pulling oh, there every Mega time, Minion. making sure that the Mega Minion never hit the tower. Baby this dragon baby dragon here. is gonna feel so much. The rocket oh, comes in. Good game called. As they knew that rocket would be the finishing touch, and we thought Amaterasu had really pulled the impossible. We still have a lot of Clash Royale action going on. Okay, we're gonna go into the games here. Amaterasu and Rad. Holding on very nicely to their position. I've done very well. There's the Dark Prince. He's gonna pull it back. A Dark Goblin this time. We haven't seen. We saw Dark Goblin earlier on, but he never really was super effective. Mostly about staying behind, wiping out the minions one by one. Goblin There's Gang goblin just gang. gonna ignore. Unlock. Night Witch. Night Witch is not a good counter to the Goblin Gang. It's gonna drop before the bats reach it, maybe? That is so low. But. Lumberjack in the front. Once that rage goes down, they're gonna deal so much damage. Bats to come out, no, not as effective as fortunately, but perfectly placed poison, making sure nothing is getting out of that goblin hut. Okay, saw the dark goblin there as well, putting out damage. It was a good position to put it in, but the poison will kill it after it has done its job. Yeah, unfortunately, that poison was kind of like kidnapping people outside of karaoke. Look at this elixir collector now. going to be prompting Rad to just go super heavy. But that balloon is going to connect, and that will drop a whole bunch of skeletons. Oh, but nice tornado. Perfect tornado. Making sure the Dark Prince does connect with them. Don't forget, he does have an area of effect attack. And the charge damage onto that tower for Amaratu. Wow, good position here for Amaratsu to take this game. And rather slow reaction coming from Rad because we saw him have seven elixirs available. He could have countered that with any card. Just putting it in front of it, that would have avoided the crash damage. Uh, but does take a lot of damage in return. Now he's going to summon a P.E.K.K.A. See that this works out after he does see the Golem. Yeah, Amaratsu playing the Golem Night Witch. This is actually a pretty good counter to the P.E.K.K.A. if you can get up enough bats. But poison goes down, making sure those bats are non-existent. But for Amaratsu, that poison is on the tower. Don't forget, the whole time that poison was down, damage was being dealt. Okay, look at the utility being done there uh, by the P.E.K.K.A. Saves Arad a lot of elixirs. He press forward with this. Dark Prince going to be coming out just to wipe out all the skeletons as soon as he summoned. There you go. Very nice No damage there. at all. But there is a Golem being summoned. Hoping this uh, Dark Prince, I don't know what he was planning to go down that side, but the Night Witch again here has to play the defensive poison. And we're going to see Hamaratsu here play a defensive poison, I guess, in the front. But the rage goes down. That means the Golem suddenly deals so much damage. Okay, they're going to be moving forward. Gets one explosion onto the tower there. Otherwise, nothing coming from the skeleton barrel. And they hold on to this. Dark Prince is right behind him, so the tornado Perfect very tornado, nice. Tornado, but he did pull the Pekka closer to the tower, okay. unfortunately. Oh, but the Lumberjack pulling the trigger and doing enough damage to wipe it out, so 
Yeah, Lucky just... for Amaratsu there, because without that Lumberjack, three Elixir Collectors down right now. We are, Oh, I forgot, we're in overtime already. We are, and one tower gone. Will be the end of the game here, and we have two Elixir Collectors now, just to help and support. This will put him so far ahead. Those Elixir Collectors do give so much extra Elixir when they're allowed to live. Poison being not on the tower where you would have expected it, but that Pekka goes down uh -huh. without a fight. Rage potion. Rage is going to go down through the death of the Lumberjack. It does provide enough distraction that no tower damage is taken. Really equal on both sides right now in terms of the tower damage that has been taken on the left side of the map here. Yeah, but I do think Amaratsu does have a slight deck advantage here. I think his deck is a little bit better at this point. But if this ends in another draw, do we go to another match? I would assume so. We just never had a case like that, but it's going to be about trial and error to see. There's an offensive is. poison there for Amaratsu. That is where he wants his poison to be. He wants to make sure that these poisons are doing chip damage onto that tower because it will give him the game if it keeps happening. And look at this here. Nightwish just trying to fight against Pekka here. Easy. Bats and the Mega Minion will take out that Pekka because it was low health. But this Pekka, the new Pekka, going to have a bit more of a difficult time. The Lumberjack in position. Good Tornado. Oh, that's opened up a nice hole there for Amaratsu. Yeah, Amaratsu just can't push in here but does not reach the tower in time. Poison just chipping away little bit by bit. 635 is in the final standing. And for the left tower of Rats. So Amaterasu is in... Ahead in terms of damage. Oh, we're having an offensive Pekka and a skeleton barrel. It is go time now. This is the trigger being pulled. Neither of these players okay. apparently want to play another game after this. But who's oh. all in is going to be stronger. That Pekka connects. Oh, Pekka, just one strike. Just Two strikes. Three one, strikes. That one, is so one, low. But, one, but it's be a golem. Coming in. I was so, so close. Whoa. That was both players just deciding to go all in. I'm the